from the moment I loaded Cyberpunk 2077 up until the moments I set it down, three things stood out to me. The graphics, the bad voice acting, and how buggy it was. Even on my 3080, I was getting low FPS drops and sometimes ray tracing looked off. Now when it works, it works. And when it doesn't, well, it definitely show you it doesn't. Now let's talk about the main character. The main character was generic as ever. Throughout the campaign, your character's voice acting is subpar at best. Hope you're here for me. I believe I am. Are you? Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Especially when compared to the rest of the cast. Yeah, it was like your character didn't have any emotion in his voice or came off very weird. The rest of the cast was pretty much hit or miss performance. Promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Some were really good, while others, like your character, just suck. But I did find it cool that they had a lot of voice actors from American, Spanish, to full Japanese voice actors. Which, by the way, I thought were the best voice actors in the game. Now, let's get to how the gameplay is. The game is buggy. Even though they've been fixing it with updates, it's still buggy. Some missions didn't load for me. On a couple missions, especially one from the start of the game, I didn't even have a gun in my hand, but was able to shoot the enemies with my spirit finger. Because after I got done becoming Yusuke, I finished the mission with no audio and no gun. More bugs were persistent throughout my playthrough, but I pushed through and enjoyed the game. I know the developers have been putting out consistent updates for the game to make it more stable when, you know, more than when it first came out, but it, it's still buggy. Now, if you're picking up this game thinking you will have a bug free experience, then this is not the game for you. There will be bugs. But when you get through them, you have a decent game on your hands. I thought the dialogue choices were good at first, then I realized they were good at giving the illusion that your choices matter. Overall, I didn't feel like anything really changed. Maybe some minor things here and there, but nothing that made me say, oh wow, that changed a lot like they said it would before the game came out. Loot was very generous, and I was constantly receiving different weapons and gear. But it seemed like no matter what gear I had, they all felt the same. And without a third player perspective, clothes didn't really matter. The tech tree was good. A little confusing at first and gives you some basic moves at first when you start. But over time, you get some good moves to help you live longer and do extra damage and other things that can have you live out your you know, robotic dreams. The one thing I couldn't get over and I thought was pretty amazing, even though I've seen it so many times, was the city. Night City was very good looking, especially with ray tracing. It looked amazing. I love the city when on foot. And I have to say on foot because once you start driving is when the game shows how buggy it can get. Cars would disappear from the road until you're driving on an empty road. And what was just a few seconds ago, a busy metropolis fluttered with people. Cyberpunk came a long way from its launch, but it's still kind of buggy on PC. With guns not showing up, missions not being able to get complete because the NPC isn't loading in, and other bugs. Would I recommend in 2022? Yes. Yes, I would. But only if it's on sale. Paying $60 for this game is not worth it. I would wait until the game goes on sale. Well, that's my would I recommend. Let me know in the comments if you would like more of what I recommend. Please, and tell me, how did you guys feel about Cyberpunk? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below. Comment, like, and subscribe, y'all. All right, I'm Ralph, and I'm out. Love y'all.